I just I want to give you a little bit of background of how it started and what the Perfect School Project is and what the per Perfect School Project is not. Um, you know, a little bit of on a lark, I declared I was getting all those questions of the day right and I'd done so badly in high school and just sort of on a lark, I said, um, I'm going to see if I can get the perfect score. And I guess like deep down inside, I want to clarify this. It was always more project than perfect for me. I mean, it was um, initially, consciously anyway, as much an attempt to um, engage my son um, in this process. like. So anyway, I tested out a different kind of test prep every month, and I took the SAT every time it was offered in 2011, which was seven times. The SAT is offered seven times internationally um, each year. And um, in between each time that it was offered, I did a different test prep method. I did Stanley Kaplan, I did Kumon, I did this tutor and that tutor. Um, so I'm searching for the best method for my son to study. I'm trying to decide, do I need to spend a lot of money? Does he need to spend a lot of time? How important is it? What is this whole test optional thing? Can they just take the ACTs? So, you know, you can do this on a shoestring. You can do this by spending a lot of money. You can do it in classes. You can do it by yourself. You can do it with a tutor. And I've tried all different ways, and I'm here to share with you every single thing that I learned along the way. Um, I want to tell you what it's not. It's, it, okay, so it was never as much about perfection. People are like, oh, her poor son, she's pushing him so hard, and he's going to be in therapy, and she's competing with him. I've read all those things on the internet. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Not true, okay? My son and I had a blast doing this. It was a profound bonding experience. Um, you know, it's a scary time, and I look back on it, and I remember feeling lost, and I remember feeling like everybody knew what they were doing but me, and maybe there's a little piece of me unconsciously inside that wanted to spare my son um, that pain and um, that fear, and he, he wouldn't tell you it was a good time. What he'll say is, it was less bad had you not done it, but you know what? I'll take that, and um, he did well. He did very well. He's going to take it again. His first SAT was in January, junior year. I'm proud of him. He did way better than me on that math. Um, eventually, I did get a perfect score in the writing. Thank goodness, because I'm writing a book. And um, I got an almost perfect score in the reading. I was 99th percentile. Not bad. On You know, there's a whole dynamic that happens where the kid argues with you, and you've got to cajole and prod and push, and it's, it's very annoying as a parent, let me just say that. Um, but... Ultimately, um, it was positive, and I think if you asked my son, I think he would say it was positive too. So, there you have it.